Papa. 20-year-old David Wheaton, ranked 62nd in the world, will face the world's number one player, Yvonne Lendl, in the championship match of the first Wink TV Tennis Classic. Good morning and welcome. I'm Ken Tomash, along with one of the grandmasters of the game of tennis, Owen Davidson. Now, I'm not sure David Wheaton is experienced enough yet to be able to handle the, the bullets that he's going to have... Uh, been returned off his serve. Well, as Yvonne said yesterday, we'll, we'll see. see well, right. We'll be back with the start of today's <laughs> championship match in just a moment. Stay with us. Fifteen all. Well, at least we're seeing at the outset, at least, David Wheaton taking some chances, coming to the net, as we said yesterday, you have to do when you're the underdog to Lendl. Yes, he hesitated just a little bit before he came in on that forehand. Bring it back into the court. Thirty love. Two big men here who run the court very well. We saw Wheaton against Seguso, who is another big opponent. They both ran the court very well. Wheaton says he's not fast, but he is quick for a big guy. Yeah, he moves quite well. Of course, you're looking at the guy who moves better than just about anyone. 30-15. Case in point. Another ace from Lendl. He finished out his last service game with three straight, so that's four straight aces for Lendl. All to the forehand side of David Wheaton. He's going to have to start to cover his forehand just a little bit better. Watch this. Nothing you can do with it. So they're all exactly the same 15, weight 40. and yep. does all that sort of work uh, for Ivan. And I think some of the other players on the tour still use him also. You see Wheaton freeze there for a moment as he thought that ball, he might have gotten that call on the line. We saw that happen a couple times against Seguso, and it wrecked his concentration for the next few games. Well, Can't I, afford to do that here. Nah, again, I think the ball just slid wide. Game Wheaton, four all. Well, that was a very good effort to break back there, Ken. Wheaton breaks back, and it's four all for a set. There you see Seguso's helicopter. Things have changed. He doesn't own that, does he? I have no idea, Ken. Things have changed in tennis. Rod <laughs> Laver. the big to... R is for. <laughs> Rod Laver used to travel around on the train, and Robert Seguso travels in a helicopter. Seven all. Yvonne upset with himself, oh. scaled that one up here towards us, and <laughs> thought it was heading right for us. Yeah. Yvonne obviously distressed with the way he's playing today. Very unhappy. I've never, I haven't seen him do that for a long, long time. You see it again. Back live at the Wing TV Tennis Classic, a reminder, NFL football will immediately follow this match. Tampa Bay at Houston as the Bucks look to possibly win their last three and finish 8-8. Eight and eight. Ever play any footy down in Australia there, Owen? We play Australian rules football, Ken. But I come from Houston, don't forget. I live in Houston. So uh, I'm not so sure about Tampa Bay winning their last three. That's in, what they want to do. In anyway. the house of in pain. House of <laughs> I like the way you say that. Game, game set and match, Ivan Lendl wins the second set, 7-5. The final, 7-6, seven, 7-5. Seven, Ivan Lendl wins the first annual Wink TV Tennis Classic, defeating David Wheaton, who put on a fine performance himself. I think a lot, what a lot of folks didn't expect was Wheaton to play this well, but they saw a great tennis match. I think the crowd really enjoyed